Hey, Jonathan from GameSpot AJ here. I'm here with Roberto Marchesi, art director for Hitman Absolution. So tell us, like, uh, with Hitman Agent 47's uh, look being set in stone, what changes do you need to do for this new Hitman? Well, we've, when we started out making Absolution, we had a mandate to make this the best game that I had ever done and the most wild and crazy Hitman game in the franchise. The looks of Agent 47 are of course one of the main things that you start looking at at the very beginning when making a new game and uh, it was pretty apparent that his look is very iconic. The black suit, the white shirt, the red tie, the bald head, the barcode, all those elements are a trademark and they're actually quite well known even outside of the game uh, to fans that are not, uh, they're, they're very known to people also outside of the, of the game's uh, fan base. So we didn't feel like there was any need to tamper with those. We of course wanted to push the limits on, uh, on, his, uh, on the details, on the suit, the stitching, the type of uh, what's called the materials that his, that his uh, suit was made of and the, and the skin on his face. But those were not something that we wanted to change too much. But we have a huge advantage compared to many other series. It, that is the fact that we have disguises that not only are a very important gameplay element, but also a very strong identity element with Agent 47, because there we can take all the liberties that we want, and we can really go from very outrageous outfits to much, much more serious uh, security setups. When it comes from an art director's point of view, like which locations did you pick, and how do you match it along with the graphic engine? Well, when we started out with this game, we had uh, an idea that we wanted to create a world that was hyper-realistic, but also had a very stylized noir sense to it. And uh, it can sound a bit like a mouthful, but uh, we wanted to uh, have a high pixel density, many details on screen, make it extremely interesting, but at the same time it should have um, an identity of its own and uh, live up to uh, this uh, uh, stylized feel that we're looking for. So we chose the town of Chicago, the city of Chicago, as our main starting point. This, we felt, didn't really uh, limit us in scope. On the other side, on the contrary, it actually can let us explore as many locations as possible in the city of Chicago. So we go from a very seedy underworld to an extreme high-class uh, uh, high class locations and all in between there are so many more places that the player will visit throughout this campaign that will give him an impression of a very large scope. You did mention Chicago as one of the primary locations. Is it all going to be set in this North America or are we looking at more exotic locations like in Europe or maybe South Africa or maybe even Asia? No, the game is not only set in North America, but uh, the other locations that we will be visiting I will not really disclose, but it's mostly taking place in the town, uh, the city of Chicago and the town of Hope. Um, but still, I'm very much confident that the variation will satisfy most uh, people. Let's also talk about the villains in the game. Like um, we, I don't know if you can actually reveal that this time, but maybe just talk about the aesthetic form and how they look. How do you come across the looks of the villains that Agent 47 will kill? So, uh, in, in Absolution, we will meet many different villains. You have basically two main antagonists. One is Blake Dexter and the other one is Travis. Travis, he is... Uh, uh, an ICA operative that is on the hunt for uh, Agent 47. He is uh, running some black ops operations behind the agency's back and uh, he is one of the most uh, dangerous person around and he's looking for you. The other main villain is uh, Blake Dexter and he is a gun manufacturer that comes across uh, Agent 47's path during the adventure of uh, Absolution. He will also all of a sudden have a huge interest in figuring out uh, the whereabouts of Agent 47 and it will be a very strong tie to the story of uh, Absolution. The main inspiration for this character comes from, uh, from uh, I would say, uh, movies because movies are such a strong medium and are really good to convey uh, personalities and characters from, from the get-go, from a visual point of view. Um, but mostly, I think one of the uh, one of the um, directors that inspires us most to make new characters is someone like, for instance, David Lynch. Uh, and he's very interesting for us because when he makes a movie, he doesn't only have a main cast that is interesting, but he has a huge palette of characters in his movie that have small stories and that make everything else in the in his movie much more believable. His side characters are almost more interesting than the main people. 
and every time he presents someone, they have a very strong story to tell. I think one of the movies that has a really good impression uh, of this is uh, Wild at Heart, where there are lots of different uh, uh, minor characters that have a very strong personality. Let's also talk about uh, the game's graphic engine. Like, was it really hard or was it easy? Uh, what are the challenges you come across when working with the new engine for Hitman Absolution from a graphical standpoint? The, the big, biggest challenges we met when we were working with this engine was uh, it, was, it wasn't much of a production point, it was from a creative point of view because we were capable of pushing so many polygons and doing so many interesting things that we had to actually push the concept department's uh, skills to limit to create so many variations that were good enough to fill this entire world that we are trying to achieve. Um, our main goal has been to create objects and uh, worlds that are believable. And, uh, when you're, playing, when you're playing a game, for instance, in stealth mode and you spend half an hour crouched behind a sofa, you really want to make sure that that sofa is the most beautiful sofa they've ever crouched behind. And uh, the guys really need to take care in, t in the small details and just keep on uh, fi find out what, what is it that makes an object interesting. Uh, the world itself is, uh, is, uh, is huge and can really scale a lot, but when, when you put all the elements together, it really has to have a hole to it. And, and uh, that is one of the biggest challenges. It has to feel like it's a real place and that uh, the characters there, there belong to it and uh, it makes sense. But also at the same time, it has to solve a uh, gameplay requirement. It has to be fun to work. It has to be fun to be covered. It has to, be, it has to work from a functional point of view. You should be able to walk around easily. I'd like to ask about the mode that you're showing off, uh, contracts like uh, Tell us what is actually the main draw for people to actually check it out when playing Hitman Absolution. Well, the mode of contracts that we're showing here at Singapore is uh, very much inspired by the community that have been playing uh, Blood Money up until today. We wanted to add an online multiplayer feature to Absolution and uh, the premise of the feature is what if anyone can be a target? And uh, the fans have been for years playing the old Blood Money but by changing the rules. They're customizing the, the way they're playing the game. Instead of taking out the target that we have specified originally, they're trying to pick someone else and they've been trying to find different weapons to do it with and creating small challenges for themselves in the process. And this uh, premise is what we are trying to uh, port in contracts. Uh, the, 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 the mode itself is uh, divided in two ways. You can create contracts and you can compete in contracts. You can create contracts by uh, playing the game and uh, by uh, taking out your tar choosing your target, marking them and taking them out. And then you can, uh, if you create a contract that you're happy with, ship it to your friends and compete and dare them to, make, to beat your score and come up with a more creative and more efficient way to taking out the target that you have specified. Um, the mode is very much divided in three stages. You have to get to the target, exit the area, and then collect your payoff.